find someone to train you a uh, member of the city guard the higher ranking i'm sure they've got somebody that would that trains trains people uh the whole thing of leveling up is a is a logic flaw but that's that's okay uh, let's, let's just let's just pass on that <laughs> i would say if once you have experience to level up you level up yay and, and sort of the same goes where the, the, in the DM guide there is that uh, monthly expense that they like to get characters with to, uh, to take their gold and provide them uh, motivation for getting out of town. And, and I, I, I kind of frown upon that uh, because it's just, you know, it's a, it's a tax for the unknown. Um uh, that's just a, a, a sort of a badly worded and a badly constructed idea to get you out to play the game. Well, if I if I if I need to make the board to play the game, that's kind of really a, a bad excuse. Yeah. <laughs> I always like those rules any... for uh, the sake of downtime because sometimes wizards or other characters have to take like several months off in order to research spells or something and then yeah. stuff like that makes sense because you you are <clears throat> spending time in a city doing nothing and just kind of spending money and you know practicing your swordsmanship or your whatever while the wizard is you know doing his thing and then i mean and everybody needs a wizard to be stronger in the group right. so why not spend you know 20 30 40 50 gp uh and wait for a couple months while he researches a spell I mean, that um, that like the quest line you're doing at the moment too, because sometimes that isn't really applicable, and, and the wizard will have to stay in town to do his things and be replaced by somebody else for the time being. Yeah, the timing never is good because unless everybody plays every session and levels up at, at the same time, the timing never works out. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Because everyone levels up at different numbers, so the DM would have to skew the experience so much. Well, as long as you're pooling experience anyway, that's not a huge uh, that's not a huge problem. Yeah. Uh, because you know the other option is to dole out experience for well, who, kill, who dropped the killing blow on the monster? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so as long as you're pooling, you can work it out so that everybody sort of levels up at the same time. Uh, kind of on, on, yeah online that gets a little tricky yeah particularly, uh, because you have people missing that the thief uh, if, if all the characters start at the same time the thief is always exactly one level ahead of the wizard though that's just how yeah. their XP table works yeah so if I may ask um, do we get anything for leveling up you get, get better anything. Thacko, you get spell slots, you get uh, uh, thief skill um, points, you get, yeah, more health, you get proficiencies if we're going to use that system, you get lots of shit. Well, health is just 1d8 of health, right? Warriors yeah. get more attacks per round, like, what do you yeah. not get for leveling up? <laughs> yeah, leveling up is, is the whole goal of, of, of going out, because goal, you you quickly have enough gold to do whatever you want to do. So how much more HP do I get then? What, what's your, you're a barbarian? That's yes. A D12 for barbarians, right? Yeah. D12? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, give it a D12. All right, D12 is rolling. All right. No. Nah. No. Uh, I'm not happy. Try it again. Pull up, pull up mulligan on that one, okay. Now, now you got lucky. not one. Now, yeah, now you got no complaints about uh, being the uh, being the punching bag for the group. Okay, that's fine. I have twenty eight hit points now. Yeah. Wow. So you get, so you can't calculate compl your unconstitution bonus. Yeah. In the end of that, because um, you can... uh, my constitution is eighteen. Okay. Yeah, you have so. one. You have one hell of a con bonus anyways. And I think at 18, don't you reroll ones anyways? Um, let me read this directly out of Unearthed Arcana. In yeah. addition, barbarians gain plus two hit points per point of constitution over 14. Yeah. Nice. So I get eight more hit points. 
That is correct. So I got 20 hit points from that. Yep. So I have 36 hit points. Yep. <laughs> you can't complain about the beating on you. <laughs> yeah, because it's just like, I have enough hit points to keep on trucking. <laughs> well, but that's why that's why I start the other classes at a uh, at a higher level. I start them at second level because you know fighters quickly uh, become immune to most uh, standard weapons that you're going to find in monsters. The, the, the I know that simply doesn't work out. Like, but it becomes, just yeah. like it survive anything. The downside is it becomes lethal for everybody else to deal with you. <laughs> Sorry, but I have a lot of hit points. <laughs> so you need to you need to consider that when you're out and about, and any bullets you are required to step in front of <laughs> for the for the rest of the party. So, uh, um, any other things administrative administratively that we need to talk about? It, we're in we're in town. You said right. That's correct. Um, that sells healing potions, or uh, do you not do you don't do magical items? Uh, no, I, I will do magic items, but the, the best person you to uh, to talk to about uh, magic items, of course, is your fortune teller. There are certain they're they're not like a, a magic item shop. They mostly belong to collectors. Do you happen to have any um, light healing potions for a decent price? Yeah, uh, you probably need to talk to your to your fortune teller about that. I'm gonna uh, follow up with you because I buying some healing healing potions might come in just in case. Yeah, uh, things like holy water, uh, healing potions, that sort of thing. You know, uh, you can you can go probably go to a a lost good temple and, or. Certainly, a good alignment temple, and and, and and purchase those for a sizable donation. Uh, so, the question in his hand is that uh, you, the party is familiar with the uh, has a deal with the fortune teller. So, how are you doing? Yeah, time to see Mrs. Green and, uh, and of course, you know, giving up treasure is always the hardest part of, of this sort of thing. So, um, how do you propose to do that? Because we did pick up one magic item. I don't know if it's a magic item we necessarily want to use, the party wants to use, but you certainly got something to negotiate with. I thought there were several. Wasn't there a couple of scrolls and a potion yeah. and a magic sword that we gave the barbarian? Yeah. That is correct. Okay. Uh, you also gave a potion of heroism to the barbarian. That's correct. Yeah. Which is pretty appropriate. Yeah. Because barbarian power activates. Yeah. So, so basically, the the sort of the construct of Mrs. Green is Mrs. Mrs. Green is your. You, it's your trade of information and items like magical items. So if it's something that you don't want to use, it gives you a chance to trade for something that you do want. We, one of us needs to start being a bookkeeper and have a separate uh, channel on our channel specifically for loot that we collect okay. so that the DM doesn't have to work so hard to keep track of our shit. You sound like a volunteer as treasurer. I have notes for having all my stuff. <clears throat> I'd really like it if we could put it into the Discord so that everyone can see it and uh, so that, like, cross reference. Uh, yeah. I, a lot of the ga other games I play have bookkeepers, and uh, it, it really works out for a more fluid um, inventory. Yeah. Ravishing can, Ranger I, sounds like a volunteer for a treasurer. I can, yeah, I can add a server. For that, for just treasure and bookkeeping discussion, or the other, or the other option is just take the fifty percent off the top. 
There's also a, a third option. <clears throat> uh, you could set up a um, like a, a handout for every dungeon, every new dungeon, and give one person access to edit, but okay. everyone access to view it. Okay. And well, that. Yeah, that's that's. Well, well, yeah, that's basically a server anyway. Yeah, except uh, it's except it's in the game. If it's okay. a handout, right? Okay, yeah, create like a PC and just have it as a no, holder. No, no, literally, literally a handout. If you, oh, oh yeah, if you click so on, yep. yep. Okay. And you can give players permission to edit those too. Okay. <clears throat> like individual players or all players, if you want. Like this week, I uh, just like future reference type thing. Yep. Yep. So let's assume that the uh, the the party has uh, has gone to fulfill its obligations with Mrs. Green and is currently at the uh, at the fortune teller shop. And is there are there items that you would like to trade out or purchase through Mrs. Green? What does she have for sale? Uh, I need healing potions. I need okay. healing potions. What? Need we have a request for healing potions. Would you like to trade out any of your magic items for healing potions? Oh. So let's let's assume that each of the characters is going to uh, at least at the at a minimum going to pony up half their gold to uh, half their current gold to Mrs. Green for her share of the treasure. Well, it's actually she didn't... I haven't acquired any treasure from this. Okay. Like she oh. didn't. She didn't adventure with us. Why would she get a share of our treasure? Because that well, that was the agreement for her providing the information. Oh. That led, all the maps that led you there. Oh, okay. Let's see how much. How much gold did we get? Well, you you got twelve hundred last time with the uh, with the. Um, uh, treasure chest. Oh, okay. Twelve hundred. Yep. I and I'm not, and I'm not really going to sweat the gold because in advanced dungeons and dragons, you quickly have enough, more than enough gold to do whatever you want to do. It's like counting silver pieces after a while. It's just pointless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just, it's just a way of. Um, it's just a way of um, experience, you know, counting experience points, which is the real currency in the game. Yeah. So let's 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 not sweat the gold, okay? <laughs> um, so I think we got five hundred gold a piece. That's correct. And so we're going to give her two hundred and fifty of our five hundred each. That's correct. Well, I don't. I only have sixty gold. That's because I haven't got it. Because I well, I haven't the gold. Yeah, your your share was you. You've now got two hundred fifty gold as your share, of the treasure. And that's all yeah. the gold we've ever gotten. That's pretty much it. Okay. Um, I have a bag of vel three gems and a bag of velvet that I found. Um, but I wanted to get those appraised. Yeah. Yeah, but she's happy to appraise those for you, or she'll know someone that can appraise those for you. And you can, and the and the and the gems will bring you that other. I tell you what, she'll take the gems, so we don't have to mess around with the gold. I could handle. I'm. Could I handle the sword I got for gold? I mean, not for gold for um healing healing potions. Do you want to? Do you want to sell the sell the sword? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how many healing potions do you want? Uh, two. Okay. Yeah, that's a good deal. Because well, it's a magic item. Like, like I would, I wouldn't want to use it anyway. So I'm just getting it out of my hands. Okay. So take uh, the sword off your inventory, and add two healing potions. Yep. Now I have full clean light wound potions. There you go. Anybody else want to trade? I want to be able to use a sword, um, so <clears throat> point everything 
my inventory. Uh, I'm going to ask her, um... Excuse me, madam. Might you know where I could find a mage with the stinking cloud spell? Do you know where... Uh... You're looking at one. <laughs> well, there, there you go. You've got the stinking cloud spell? That's just too easy a setup. Yes, I have the stinking cloud spell. <laughs> Why are you level three? How do you possibly have the, the stinking cloud spell? You have to be level three to cast it. And I am. How did you get to level three? Anyways. Anyways. Uh... Never mind. Uh, madam, um, I'm now looking for a mage with the flaming spear spell. I mean, okay. not, no, 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 that doesn't exist in first edition. Uh, right. <clears throat> never mind. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I have a couple questions. Sure. Um, what kind of sword was that that we sold? Plus one sword. Now, I, I, some questions. Uh, plus one sword, uh, the approximate gold, gold piece sale value is 2,000 gold. Um, an extra healing potion sells for 800 gold. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. I just happen to have all the books constantly right in front of me. And, and, and I, I, I kind of felt like we were getting gypped a little bit. I didn't say it was a good deal. I said it was a deal she's willing to make. Right. Right. So I, I just called out the fact well, that she's... <laughs> well, I have an excuse. I'm a barbarian. I don't care about magical items. I don't, I don't, you did nothing wrong. It's Mrs. Green's crooked ass. <laughs> I know, I, just, I don't care about, ma I don't care about magical items, so it's getting out of my hands. I don't care what exactly I get. Our, our but... characters would know this information. I, I was just curious. <laughs> no, it's just a, well, you offered the deal, and she was like, yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> <coughs> oh goodness. Here, I think this might. Okay, that's my only question. I don't have enough. Um, he's willing to try um, the flashbang stem for a few uh, light healing potions. Okay, she'll trade uh, those one for one. So what do we decide about when you level up? What you what you have to do to level up and gain your spells and stuff? It, 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 we decided it's magic. You just do it. We're not gonna we're gonna not gonna sweat the details because it's just, okay. not, it's just not fun role playing it. Evelyn, sometimes you sound roughly like someone in the fifth edition campaign. Very good. Okay. First edition person, quite the opposite. I hate fifth edition. I hate the entire concept of all these elemental races. Amen. And Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I like regular characters, not gods. She hates fifth yeah. edition. Exactly, Wesley. <laughs> so, um. I'm going to play it when there's nothing else available. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Green says, well, she's very happy to do business with you. If you're ever uh, looking to pick up a new job, uh, she's more than willing to help you out. Or, or as long as uh, you want to continue this business relationship, she's perfectly willing to do so. She's very satisfied. Well, my good friends, I propose that uh, we have our thief spend some time in the local pub and possibly pick up some jobs that way, rather than have a fortune teller take a whole share of our gold. Uh, our thief is than... here. We don't have our thief. Uh, maybe, we should, maybe we should get a thief as a henchman then. A portion of the treasure with him. No, they just get paid per day, right? Well, it's whatever relationship, whatever you work out with them, really. Yeah. I mean, it, it depends what level and 
It is. Hire some random thief, though. Um, it, it also assumes that they live. <laughs> <laughs> you got you gotta survive to collect. That was, that yeah, was we can just take a break from and then we can. Yeah, we uh, we used to use uh, we call them disposable heroes. Hmm. <laughs> Trap finders. <laughs> <and> <laughs> Some games allow people to run more than one character. Do you? Yes. Do what now? Because Before next week, I, I were to make a, like a thief character. That's fine. I have a second character ready for like if my character dies. Okay. Alright. Uh, well, in that case, I'd love to roll up a cleric too because. Second character is the cleric. Okay. Uh, you guys want a, uh, a rock, paper, scissors for the cleric? I, I don't have a dog in the fight. Uh, you know, it's too, too, it's because honestly, we never use the names of characters anyway. It's always thief, cleric, fighter, blah blah blah. So if you want, if you want a uh, second character, that's fine. They're very easy to keep track of, um, and you as as long as it because you know roll twenty. There's only so many people who can be on roll twenty at a time or on Discord without it getting to be mass chaos. Yeah. If you want to pick up a second character, that's maybe great. maybe a couple more uh, players who could fill these roles would be good too. Like someone who actually plays a thief or someone who actually plays a cleric or a druid. Yeah. Well, we have someone who plays a thief. They're just never here when we need them. <laughs> well, I mean, the cool thing about roll twenty is when there's you people who don't player. show up, you can replace them with other yep. players. Well, and speaking of which. Uh, you just want to do it as as a group responsibility. You just say, yeah, if he doesn't show up, do you DM boot him? Or do you just want to get me to take it upon myself to say, okay, that's enough? At the end of the day, I believe it's well, your decision. Yeah. But um, I'll, I will weigh in my two cents. I believe that the point of having um, the, the people in the group is for them to show up. Yeah. And it's kind of yeah. like um, a job. Or, um, like, let's say that you play D&D &D at your local comic book shop. They're going to boot your character after you haven't been there, like, yeah. two or three times in a row. Yeah. Okay. It's it's kind of like a responsibility to the other players to, like, actually show up. Kind of like playing cards on Saturday night with your friends, you know? If you don't, right. if you're the host and, you know, people show up to your doorstep and you're like, eh, sorry, guys, I'm, I'm going to go fuck myself for two hours and everyone's like, oh, well, you know, fuck you then, because we do this every week. You yeah. know, it's kind of like, well, let's find another place to play. It's You, you replace okay. the guy. <clears throat> so I, I, I'm happy to do it. Uh, <coughs> do you want to shoot one warning before we do it, or do you just want me to do it? Yeah, I mean, like, I, give them, give them yeah, a warning the first time they don't show up. And if they don't show up again, like, you know, two times in a month, if they're, they don't show up, just boot them. Okay. So have senior man is getting a warning then. Uh, okay. Unless of course they give a warning or they explain, you know, something's happened. Yeah. But he hasn't said anything, so. I remember when he gets a flat tire every once in a while on the way to work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but like then they, that. but then they, they, you know, call and say, "Oh yeah, sorry guys, I had a flat tire." These guys right. are just exactly. not—they're not communicating at all. That means they're not logging in or doing anything. They've found something else to do. That's fine. I, I, like you said, I, you know, I have a fifth edition game where people cycle in and cycle out because they're doing weird things mm -hmm. all the time. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, if you have 12 characters in the game and eight show up, that's always good. Um, I, I know some but you have to overstaff to do it. Yeah. I know a couple people um, that if we if we do just want to instead of running multiple characters, just get a couple more people on here because yeah. um, uh, the the other game that Wesley and I play in, there's like how many of us Wesley like ten. What other game? Are you talking about the Thursday game? So are you in my Thursday game or my Monday game? Yeah. I think you're in both actually. <laughs> the Thursday game. But I can win one of them. Our Monday game, I think we've got four or five people, but 
the way that DM runs that game, and it's a fifth edition game, so really two characters is enough. Because <laughs> yeah. they have so many special powers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, our Thursday game, um, our Thursday game is a two E version, and and it's got a pretty good number of people in it. It runs. Very well, see, I played a bit second edition, which I hope second edition is like second edition. By the way, uh, Elon, uh, um, Flaming Spear does exist in first edition D and D. It's in the Unearthed Arcana books, where it was first added in the game. Right. So, if you want to invite people to games, more than happy to have them. I, I prefer uh, player recommendations and referrals rather than just going out on the board and saying, "Hey, you know, anyone want to join the game?" Because you. Well, in that case, I'll hey. pop onto a couple of them and invite. Okay. Yeah. All right. A few yeah. groups on Facebook uh, where, like, like avid D and D players, like we get in arguments about, like, like the, how you should play this or this, and but it's all good nature because you know, like, all of us nerds, we're just gaming together. Right. I play Berserker like I want to punch everyone in the face. <laughs> well, more or less hit them over the head with my axe, but same thing. Yeah. Uh. Honestly, the LFG, I think, would probably be the most effective way to get players because at least you know that those players actually have a Roll20 account that they log into or can log into. And then from there, <clears throat> you can talk to them on Discord <clears throat> and see how they actually are. Like if they're an irresponsible person, <clears throat> when you talk to them about, you know, showing up to uh, play games on time or whatever or if they if they actually have their heart in it like oh yeah I play I like to play AD&D every week and I, I you know I, I get my characters up to level 20 or 30 and I play these games I you know same campaign with the same people for two three four five years at a time then that's the type of players you want not not people that are wishy-washy Right. I'm only wishing want to see if I'm like too sleepy or something, but I'm usually never too sleepy to play D and D. Yeah, I, I I think that uh, because you know a lot of Dungeons and Dragons players have strong personalities. I I generally like referrals from other players because <laughs> I knew that you've already sorted that sort of thing out. You know if you, if, if if this is the person you want to game with or not. You're bringing someone in from the cold. You know, sometimes it really grates on people because of, of, because of dynamic changes. Yeah. What would you say my personality's like? Oh, you're you're a nice guy. That's all right. You're you're fine. Until of course I activate rage mode, that everything must die. Yeah. You just you know. Excitable. Yeah, excitable. That's all. Well, hey, it's my first time playing advanced sec advanced first edition. There you go. So, so if you if you want to do a referral, I'm good with that. I prefer that method, uh, just because I know that you know whatever there's not going to be an interpersonality conflict. And well, we, the, I only we figure out the rest of it. Yeah, I'm not friendly with Drow, but that's only because well, dwarves hate Drow. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're we're talking about uh, uh, meta type things, and not necessarily within characters. Within characters, I know. people are playing role characters just. You, you just hate to have sessions where where it's just argument after argument after argument because the person I'll try to get I'll try to get someone from my Saturday game to join. That game's been going for three years. Okay. My personality is roughly this. I'm friendly to, towards people until they prove that they don't resolve my friend kindness. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. If I had the guy who DMs our Thursday game as a player in my five, my Saturday game. Yeah. Well, that's kind of, that, that's that's a good thing because that uh, keeps the DM honest. Uh, DMs that are only DMs uh, are a little concerning. <laughs> the ones that like put you up against things like they, there's a terror ask in the room with you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
The words Tarask and room don't belong in the same sentence. Tarask, <laughs> <laughs> on the upper hand. Yeah, I, I, I don't run competitive games. I'm not gaming against you. I hate that kind of uh, PM. I, I am more trying to figure out what kind of game you guys want to play and give you what you want to play. So if you have a storyteller. Okay. okay. Yeah. You're the guy. It's, it, it, I'm of the opinion where um, it's usually good to have at least uh, one player for each of the character archetypes, like one warrior, at least one warrior, at least one wizard, at least one priest, and at least one rogue. Okay. Because then you have the the basics, you know, and then you know from there you could have multi class characters and subclasses and stuff like that. Okay. All right. Uh, I said I'm all... <clears throat> all right. Let's get to the game. We've taken up a lot of time. Yeah. Stop yeah. <laughs> Administrative stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um. So the the character has the characters have paid off. Uh, Mrs. Green, her share, and they have to, to celebrate their victories and survivals and adventures. They have retired to the, the Wagon and Wheels Inn, which is your local watering hole. Uh, I'm still in the desert. No, yeah, let me. You don't just happen to have a map, do you? Uh, huh? Yeah. Let me bring up our map of our town. <laughs> Should load our town here. Okay. Okay, and so the players are at our inn, which is a ping it right here. All right. The spy area four. Yeah, the spy area four. And there's a giant, and there's just someone's face in, in area four. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like someone's What's that evil looking thing? Is that the, the one we were trading with? Yeah. Yeah. We have, uh, the, you trade. The Mrs. Green place is right there. So it's, it's in the commercial district. Why is there a character portrait just right in the middle of the map? I think I think that we're just X marks the spot. That's all. I don't read anything into it. Okay. <laughs> Particular quest right now, or or is it time to to find a quest giver? Well. You, you can always go back and you've got an existing relationship with Mrs. Green and she's really good at providing information uh, because she's a fortune teller. Uh, that or you, you can always always look for, uh, you know, the, the sailors in the bar uh, talking about what they're up to or the caravan. The barkeep, the barkeep can always tell you things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the the advantage of Mrs. Green is she's she's always on duty being a uh, being a medium. Uh, sailors sailors and barkeepers and whatnot uh, are good for rumors. Um, always true. But you've had a couple you've had a couple leads. Uh, I don't know if everyone was present during that time, but uh, you, you know that there was an exchange in the cemetery. And let me see the cemetery up here uh, between uh, the staff of the cemetery, including Timmy, and uh, a, a local woman uh, who was who was being slightly accused or, or being very defensive about uh, 
men that, that had uh, seen her that were disappearing. Yeah, we heard about that what, last time you were in the graveyard. Yeah. So you, you, can, you can get a pretty good sense that you you found information in the graveyard once. There's probably more where that came from. Yeah. Looking up obituaries to, to see who's dead is never a, never a bad source of information. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd like to get my hands on the mystery. So, oh, if, if it's one of, um, any, uh, side. I think we should travel to the graveyard at night. No. That just asks for trouble. Oh, come on, why not? Why not? Come on. Because I It'll be fun. I... It'll be fun. No, it won't be. Because I swear it was zombies. Come on. Come on. Zombies. No. <laughs> It'll be fun. What's, what's a few whites? Money. Come on. Hey, they, they've no. got a chance to carry scrolls. Scrolls are good. No. <laughs> scrolls good have for spells, you, not right? For me. Right? <laughs> Come on. You're, no. you're the barbarian. Your job is to... We went over this before. Your job is to take the bullet for the tea. Yes, but if I don't want to go no, <laughs> I don't want to talk now. We're the cowardly lion, don't we? <laughs> There's, oh no, I don't know where I don't want to be. Because <laughs> well, right, well, it's, it's dangerous? <laughs> no, because <laughs> I've got a trouble here once, and I don't want to cause a rocket. Unnecessary ruckus. It's only a few zombies, and at the worst, a couple of whites. Come on. I'm not scared of the zombies, man. I'm scared of the people. I'm not scared oh, of the Oh, it's zombies. not that bad. Come on now. Could be a lich for all we know. Right. <laughs> What's a couple of ghouls going to do? Come on, let's do this. Sit down. <laughs> I think you need to get the barbarian uh, a few drinks. <laughs> <laughs> but getting me this is going to be difficult with 18 constitution. <laughs> Alright, four drinks. <laughs> Big ones. Come on, some of us are elves. Come on, we can take I'm some ghouls. I'm a dwarf and I have 18 constitution. <laughs> If he has any fire whiskey. Well, here's the usual dynamic, uh, Mr. Brain. If, if, the, if the party comes up with a suggestion and you don't like it, it's your obligation to come up with a better idea. So what's to be your, honest, I can't. So. so what's your better idea? I can't think of one, even though I hate doing this, I'll go with it. <laughs> okay. so, if you leave me behind like this dog damn thief, I read right about my. I gotta be more become even more antisocial. Okay, so I assume that after a few drinks, the party is able to persuade you that it is perhaps not as dangerous and probably more financial rewarding, rewarding than you were suspecting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after maybe five drinks, but... <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, so the uh, cemetery is a close walk away. Um, it is has a white uh, fence as before, and it is, you know, that uh, our friend Timmy, let me bring up Timmy. Oh, the devil barbarian squad! <laughs> just two barbarians just charging at the enemy constantly. Yes, our friend Timmy is there. Oh, of course, Timmy's there. Why wouldn't Timmy be there? Hey, DM, I've got a guy who wants to join and play a thief. He plays a thief in uh, my Saturday game. Sounds good. 
And of course, another person who wants to be a barbarian. So, so how do I send him an um, invite? Uh, all right. Uh, let me let me post our invite people Discord server on the chat. And that is... I'm not going to join it because I have no reason to join it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me... Oh, wait, it's this server, so... Yeah, this this, this, this server, I'm going to post the... Uh, post the address on roll 20. There we go. Should be able to see that. Yep. Okay. Oh, the uh, Aqua Alex Bandander. Okay, so good. Over that is. All right. So I assume he'll be rolling up a rolling up a, at least a second level fee. Uh, so the party goes to the graveyard. I assume you're going to go at night, or are you going to do yeah. so during the day? <laughs> during the day, during the day, you're able certainly to talk to to uh, people on a more Civilized footing. Uh, nighttime, you're they're going to suspect that you're there to grave rob once again. So, do you want to do it at night or during the day? I do during the day and hide. Pardon me. If we hide, they'll, they'll think we're trying to grave rob again. They'll try to think, I'm grave robbing again. That's the point of hiding. <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> um, so, uh, you can either come during the day and chat up the staff and see if you can, uh, see if you can, um, Get some information that way, or come at night and try to dig it up yourself. We'll go at night. We're gonna be suspicious no matter how we do this. We well, first we should go during the day, collect as much information we can as we can, and then to do the thing. Okay. So let's assume it's that you'll start off in the day. So you. Uh, Go to the gate and ring the bell, and um, coming out of the uh, main shack, which is right there, the, gre the uh, groundskeeper's uh, hut comes Timmy, and Timmy comes to the front gate, which is here. And he, and he says, may I help you? Charisma <sighs> 7, someone else talk. Yeah. I have five charisma. Okay. Uh, probably neither of you are, are really great first choices to do the chatting. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm a punch per. I'm a punch person. I'm not a talk person. <laughs> um, he, he says, "Are you looking to uh, visit a gravesite?" Please and thank you. He uh, opens the gate and says, "If you'd like to stroll around the grounds, you're welcome to. We close at sunset." Guys. Okay. Right. So, so you are able to to walk the grounds during the day just like normal visitors. You sort of have to put up the pretense that you're actually looking for uh, someone in particular, but uh, being being a Harbor Town, you know that there are sort of three classes of of folks. Uh, okay, uh, find me email. Okay, 
and I'll send the Discord server. We got uh, two players that join. Okay. Yeah, but they're trying to get they're trying to get in. Okay. Um, so, so you know that there there are sort of three classes of people. There are the very wealthy, uh, which have uh, basically sarcophaguses and above ground fancy tombs. Uh, you know that there is a regular merchant class, which are more or look they're buried in the ground and more or less looks like and the, 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 the rich tombs are over here and I'll ping that. Common area is over here and then you know that the poor and criminals are buried in, in mass graves. So for instance if you if you were a pirate uh, and your crew did not uh, pony up for a decent burial, you are just in a big <coughs> burial mound. Uh, oh, hello, no. Good day. How are you doing? I'm guessing you're the level person who wants to play a barbarian. Well, they said they had a barbarian, so I said crusader. I'll, I'll do something different. Yeah, it's okay. If, I have an okay with two barbarians. I'm the barbarian, by the way. It's, it's funny. Uh, um, uh, there's no. Uh, you know, you just got the basic classes. Cavalier. Unearth Arcana. Unearth Arcana has Crusaders and Barbarians in it. Yep. You well, we do play Unearth Arcana. Well, they're called Cavaliers, yes. Right. But, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Cavalier. Okay, what are Cavaliers really? Um, if you think knights. about medieval times and jousting knights, that's a cavalier. They're, okay. they're paladins that don't worship a god, instead worship a way of life, a, a coat of arms. Okay, so kind of like how, kind of like some, like, monks, kind of also, in a way, ish. <laughs> think a paladin that scales, but has no clerical or god ability, no turn undead. They're, they're like a scaling okay. warrior, essentially. Okay. I play for Paladin in my advanced second edition game, so I know how Paladin to work. Okay. And I have a lot of hit points, which is nice right now. Yes. Um, so, we, we, you have three sections within the, uh, within the grounds of the cemetery to look against uh, wealthy, uh, merchant class, and then the big uh, mounds of, of common dead that are unmarked. Okay. Any of those strike your fancy? Uh, <clears throat> I want to look around through the, um, the undead, not, like, just look around, because, like, uh, uh, the pile of dead bodies, uh, or not pile, you know what I mean, the, the mass grave. Mass grave, yeah. Um, um, yeah. Have you invited them to the game yet? Well, I'm going to kind of sort of wait for the whole administrative stuff to the end, because it's really hard to do both at the same time. Alright. Uh, so if that's okay with everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it gets, it gets to be a distraction after a while. Uh, if um, so you're going to the to the mass grave, so that's fine. Um, you've noticed that there are uh, Big plaques that say, you know, uh, the sh you know the the the, the walrus ship lost at sea, uh, mass grave. There are uh, villages where you know plague. <clears throat> Everyone buried here in a list of names. It's sort of a burial mound, and then a plaque that has a list of names, and, and perhaps a narrative about. Who, who everybody's there, you know, prisoners of the keep has a has a mass grave and a plaque there. Does that uh, ring a bell to anyone else? Because like I, you guys have been here longer than I have. I only well, been here 
we really didn't do much exploring. Yeah, you know, the uh, the barbarian, the thief, have visited here before, um, and it evidently is not ringing a bell. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to remove this place in my memory because I don't want to get in trouble again. <laughs> he's he's blacked it out. <laughs> uh, useful skill. Yes. Yes, the barbarian is living up to his name. <laughs> what else? Pick an No, my name is Dice now. It's Dice now. It's not what it once was. That's it. Because well, that my previous name was causing problems. Okay. <laughs> um. So, you 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 are you are of course interested in uh, people that have dived out on what what could appear to be a venture, for instance, uh, pirate ships and pirates, because uh, through the use of divination and mediums, you can probably find out a little bit about um, the sort of adventures they went on, what they saw. Uh, so that's a, a good source of information is digging up a body and dragging it back to a medium and paying the medium for information to, to speak to the dead. That's usually the... Or you, you go to a rich person if you... Uh, uh, the grave of a rich person if you want someone in particular that is of note because they were likely very wealthy and either they're buried with their wealth or they have uh, places where they have stored the wealth in the past. Right, what were the uh, first two sections of the cemetery that you named? The, the one for our wealthy uh, former citizen, which is located in this area, and the merchant's quarter, which is in that area. So we need to go to this uh, zombie graveyard and kill some zombies. Oh, no, no, no. We're already at the cemetery, and we're we're investigating. More or less, we're we're trying to decide what, which body we're going to dig up and take back to the medium, and find out information about, or we're watching out for something suspicious. Well, you know, we could, all, oh, some of us could do it, not agree, and some of us try to get information at the tavern. Well, I guess we could, uh, um, pick the oldest one, maybe. It probably seen the most. Yeah, uh, you can, you can pick an oldest one. Um, the other, of course, is that you can, you can ask Timmy, uh, uh, about any news regarding the, uh, the uh, townsfolk and or uh, the lady that was here previously having the argument. How, how far back to the, do the bodies go? Is it like 100 years or like 20 years or like 200 years? The, 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 probably the colony has been established for about 50 years, so it would go back easily to the... Uh, Easy to the, uh, easily to the founders. So the oldest graves would be the the individuals that died on the journey or in the establishment of the town. Mm. I'm really intrigued about the people who died at the keep, the mass grave. Like that, that really interests me. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, there are various. Uh, prisoners and, and uh, the prisoners are told what they're held for. There are if, uh, uh, pirates that were hung. Uh, there are uh, people that were burned at the stake for being witches. There are um, just, just well, well. Now you said there's people that were burned at the the stake. That's who I want to dig up. <laughs> <laughs> Going to dig up some ashes, huh? Uh, yeah, and, and in fact, um, one sounds actually pretty familiar. You, uh, our barbarian will remember that there was a lovet, which was the lady that was, that was arguing, uh, with staff. Uh, it seems that 
her family has, has a dark past. Because there is also a love it listed uh, for for being burned at stake. That's not a good thing. Being burned alive is does not sound like something fun. No, it is not something fun, but usually, you know, done for the most uh, serious crimes, particularly for women. But men never got put on the stake for being accused of witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 traditionally in, in medieval times, we either drowned or burned. They yeah, were I mean, it's funny. Yeah. Medieval times are weird. Uh, so, you know, it, it, the people that uh, uh, are are at, in this mass tomb have been hung, uh, mostly men for even petty crimes, you know, various names, you know, for being a caught being a thief or for for murder, for piracy, for, or for other for other capital crimes and women. Basically, more than likely for for witchcraft, which may or may not be true, uh, could be just a matter of superstition. What else think? I don't want to You'd be in the graveyard, but. <laughs> But not like my opinion really hundred percent matters. Okay. Um you have a woman coming up behind you dressed in black. Is she coming at us like aggressively, defensively? Nope. Or she just is, kinda walking is, at us. She is she is carrying flowers. And a Brazilian will recognize her as Mrs. Lovelet. Okay. And she, our condolences uh, on your losses. Yeah, she says, you know, she uh she brings flowers every week to uh to her family that are buried buried here. Um and you know, it, it it's it's a terrible burden to carry her family name. Um because it always you know, of of the the tragic events that have uh surrounded the family's name and uh, you know, no one no one else cares or has sympathy for the family uh because of the family history. What is a, your family history? Um, oh, she said, <laughs> well, you, you must be new in town. Um, her family was accused of being cannibals. Why? Uh -huh. Oh, damn, that sounds cool. I mean, uh, we're gonna have problems. And she said, you know, the, the, her mother uh, was, she was uh, one of the original people uh, within the town, which was much smaller, and she was a baker. And what she baked was meat pies. And she was mm -hmm. accused of killing people, chopping them up, and <coughs> baking them into pies for sale. Oi. <laughs> that's how that's a, that's, that is a, yeah. Well, if I was probably at that time, this sound at earlier, probably I would probably be along with that group. Man, man that's some South Park shit right there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the she was she died uh, by being placed into her own oven and incinerated. Like the, Jesus. Like, <laughs> like the witch from Hats on Gretel. Something similar to that, yes. The new, that new show on Netflix, Disenchantment, that's not what happens. 
I don't know if anyone has seen that show yet, but that's definitely not what happens with Hansel and Gretel. That's uh, Sweeney People Todd. The children were... Yeah, it's, it's basically the story of Sweeney Todd. Uh, Sweeney, Sweeney Todd. Well, I'm not going to go into that. Either. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so Mrs. Lovett is uh, is mourning the, uh, the at the gravesite of her mother. Is that the only bad luck you've had in your family, or? Uh, no, no. Um, you know, tale of broken homes and sailors and. Uh, well, you know, it's we're sort of here on uh, as a as a desert uh, port and oasis, and there's all sorts of travelers that have come through uh, her her mother's shop, and you know, some of the tales can be believed, some of them are uh, well uh, too fantastic to be believed. Mm. So where's the shop at? The shop is down here. Thinking it. It's just a bakery. She has she has inherited her mother's bakery, and she says, you know, times are difficult. Uh, there's still a lot of suspicion in the town, uh, and the disappearances of men. Um, and they have not shown up in the cemetery yet, has led people to once again suspect that the family has gone back to its uh, primitive ways and, and her neighbors are, are, are nervous. Yes, I have in the chapter 10, so it hasn't been exactly the funnest experience. Yes. Uh, so, um, she said, um, "Who are you, folks? Uh, you you hear?" Um, I don't know what the other two characters play. One of is a elf ranger. Is that right? Yeah. Are you mourning? Are you mourning someone? Um, she says, if you know of anyone that could help clear her name, she, uh, if you, if you know the whereabouts of men, she sure would appreciate, you know, knowing about it because, you know, uh, she's being blamed for unaccounted, unaccounted for, uh, missing Missing persons. Mm. Or she said that somebody was missing. Yeah, uh, there are there are men disappearing uh, within the city, uh, and suspicion is falling upon her because of. Her family history. Well, who was the last one to disappear? Ah, well, um, it is uh, the 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 local gentleman of the well lawyers, <laughs> gentlemen of the court, better known as lawyers, are disappearing. Well, I can't say anything bad about that because most lawyers are douchebags, <laughs> but. Yeah, gentlemen of the court, but are known as barristers, lawyers, defense attorneys. Defense attorneys are semi nice, <laughs> but lawyers I don't entirely care about. Well, lawyers are, are, are a necessary uh, evil, particularly if you've been accused of crime. That's why you try not to get accused of them. Yes. People Anyone else other than court people that have been snatched? Any uh, regular people or? No, it seem, seem to be very specific to one occupation. Mmm, sounds like a serial killer. It could be a serial killer or it could be uh, 
a vigilante that is upset uh, with. I have a uh, wait. I have a question, ma'am. Okay. Has any is there any family who has like disliked your family for the whole time? Well, uh, like, you know, obviously, you know, grudges of this sort can go back for years. Uh, hopefully, these have been uh, buried with her mother. However, you know, suspicions will remain as long as she. The only was thing out. I can possibly think of is someone from probably one of the families that died still hasn't probably forgiven your family and and most trying to get you kicked out or killed. Well, she's she's very concerned that yes, that she is being um, set up, um, okay. and that is entirely possible. Um, or the the other option is that you know she is someone is has decided to take revenge uh, for the fact that her lawyers her mother's lawyers didn't do a very good job and got her burned. <laughs> well, that's the other, that's the other that. side of that coin. Well, maybe we need to let her go so we can see where her mom's buried at. Okay. Yeah. All right, and so she wishes you a good day, and she leaves the cemetery. And you, 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 you have found the, the mass grave where she is buried. Does it look like it's been disturbed recently? Ah, excellent question. Um, well, I'm going to check that because that would probably be handle under my specialties because, well, I'm a dwarf. Okay, and someone with some ability with inspecting groundwork, I assume? Um, yeah, actually, you do know that, yeah, there, there has been disturbed soil in the area. Could I uh, tell from the grave? Um, you would, you would guess within the last week. Okay, that's something. That's some information. Wait, that who, whose grave was this? Was this again? This um, was, this was her mother's grave. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. It's a mass grave. It's little multiple people. And it's and it's probably not uh, being burned. It's probably just uh, ashes that are buried there. We should probably we should probably check all three. To be honest, well, we should probably check both. Probably the most diplomatic people should go to the lawyers. Where I level two go to the shop because well. This is me and the elf would go to the shop shop because well we don't have the highest charisma. I know. Jeez. That way we can check out each spot so that way we can get as much information as we can. That's how I think anyways. Anyone have anything? To say against it? You're wanting to go... Well, as long as we get to adventure soon, I'm all for it. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I'm Let's ready go. to go. The lawyers. <laughs> well, the, dot, the two, he, me and the Molly are going to check the sh shop because, well, we don't have the highest charisma to use well. We'll probably end up, if we try talking, we'll just end up messing up the conversation, probably. Okay, uh, so you're going to travel to our shop, our bakery, which is right there. I want to go to the shop, because I want to see this place where they made human meat pies. Yeah. Uh, well, at least that was the, that's what people believe. Okay. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a quick walk down the down one of the main avenues to the uh, to the bakery, and bakery's fallen on on very hard times. 
Uh, it's closed for the day. There is a barber shop above it. Um, and it looks like it's in some state of disrepair. Of course, a bakery that uh, that was cooking human uh, remains and serving them is not going to stay in business long. And this one looks like it is it's closed, perhaps permanently. This would be a good place for the thief to enter and uh, help us break in. That would be that be a great idea. Kicking down doors and breaking windows. It does. It does not look occupied. Once again, this is probably something we should do after dark, unless we want the town guard on our ass. They're gonna still get on our asses if we do, if we get caught in the graveyard. Well, well it's like if we get caught at night, then we are in the day. Exactly. So let's go visit lawyers. Digging up a body, you do it at night. Okay. Going to go. Going to go visit the lawyers, and then the lawyers' offices are in the uh, the wealthy quarter here with the garden, which is down here near the citadel, which is here, and uh, it, it definitely the lawyers in this town make pretty good money. You you are well aware that this is uh, this is the well-to-do district. So what's our main plan? So we're gonna go like a lawyer place now. Gonna go. Uh, how how do you want to approach lawyers? Um, I guess my mage will go in and ask if there are any uh, adventuring offers. Okay. Uh, you know, lawyers usually hire private investigators and that kind of thing. I'm sure they had the like in medieval times. Yes, uh, there is. They are definitely in. Uh, in the market for hiring people or paying for information that has to do, uh, they, in, in fact, there are many armed guards in the area that the lawyers are very concerned about their own safety uh, as a number of them have disappeared recently. And Ooh, you tell are, us more about these disappearances. They, they are more than willing to pay you for any information which you may have uh, that could bring the perpetrator to justice. And they they universally suspect that uh, they bring you to an office and say, you know, do you have any information on Mrs. Lovett? Well, we spoke to her early in the graveyard. And what was she doing in the graveyard? I believe visiting her mother's grave, planting flowers. Okay. She says she does so every week. She does that every week, I see. And... Did she speak to anyone else? No, we stopped her because we were just, we're new in town and we were, had heard rumors of uh, foul creatures running amok in the graveyard. Oh, I see. Um, did you speak to Timmy about that? Who? Timmy. He's the, he's the groundskeeper for the graveyard. We did not have the pleasure of meeting this gentleman. Oh, okay. Um, so, um, if you, they are, and they, they take out a, a nice iron box uh, from the desk, say, you know, uh, we are more than willing to pay for any incriminating, incriminating information that you may gather from um, your sources that would lead to the conviction of Mrs. Lovett. But what if we find out she isn't it? She's not the pro what if we find out she's not the problem? Well, if you to find out that she isn't it would that you know the is it. Who is the murderer? 
and we suspect that these men have been murdered. So when are these people disappearing? They Do they disappear at night from their homes or? Exactly, they're being taken out of their homes. Can I ask a question that can possibly help us? Okay. Uh, in a percentage, which has been taken, which, who has been disappeared more, men or female? They are all men. Okay, that actually possibly gives me a few ideas of what we could possibly be dealing with. Okay. It's, I guess, I think there's at least some getting a few ideas of what this possibly could be. Okay. I'm not gonna say them yet because, uh, because, well, I'm, I'm not 100% sure of it. Just have a few, just have roughly a vague theory. Okay. Um, so, do you want to share your theory with the lawyers? Uh, possibly <coughs> there might be even, like, some kind of green demon or something like that, mainly because it's males, like succubus or something roughly along that sort of line. So, you suspect that Mrs. Lovett is, in fact, uh, Succubi? No, I don't think this is just. I don't think she is it, but I think that so someone. That pro I'm not I'm central, but I feel like this might be the work of more than one person. More than one, okay. Um, how do you, how do you suspect they're getting into the home? Well, I'm guessing with just the dreams, they lure them out with the dreams or some or something like that. Okay. I'm not 100 sure. Just I have just because well, only male disappearing. That's kind of something that instantly popped into my head. Okay, that's a fair. That's a that's an interesting argument. Uh, because well, if it was male and female, then there was no, I can then that. Had any of those that disappeared worked on the Lovelet case or the previous Lovelet case? Uh, yes, they're, they're all elderly men and they all uh, worked for the law firm at that time. Who we be fighting might just have a grudge against her. That's, that's why they're targeting, that's why they're doing this, to make, to make sure that she doesn't get away with what they thought she might have done. Well, you think, well, being lawyers, Obviously, lawyers get a lot of secrets. They know who was innocent, and they have a pretty good idea who was guilty. And often, uh, if you are untrustworthy of the lawyer's ability to keep that secret, at some point or other, you're going to want that lawyer dead. Are there any other enemies of the lawyer firm that could be implicated? Oh, oh certainly. Um, you know, they, they, they are charged by the court to defend uh, everyone that becomes comes before the court, whether they are rich or they are poor. And uh, there are no end of thieves in this town uh, that hold a grudge, or families of thieves, loved ones of thieves, that hold a grudge for them. Uh, or or pirates, or anyone that is, that is basically buried in that graveyard uh, in the mass graves for criminals. But anybody who's made threats recently? Um, no one has made threats recently other than in open court. Um, you know, there are uh, obviously, um, you know, pirates that... Uh, that from the scaffold uh, scream at their lawyer for being incompetent and and, and stealing from the families of, of uh, both the victims and the accused. Um, lawyers are not particularly popular people in this town um, it, because they're often associated with uh, with doing a poor job of, of defending people 
uh, accused of crime. They hate them for the same reasons we hate them. They cost a lot of money and they don't do a particularly good job at times. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's funny, all the famous lawyers in our area in Alabama, they all have Jewish sounding names. <laughs> I wouldn't suspect that in Alabama, but oh, okay, I'll go. Um, yeah, our, uh, our um, Stanara, Goldberg. Yeah, uh, our big law firm out here is, is a guy named Go Lightly and Finch. So who knows? <laughs> Anybody can be a lawyer. Um, so, um, law, law firms are really good places of getting information because, of course, they have files and uh, they know secrets. Uh, I should probably have information we have should probably investigate. So that's. So that's another lead that you may have. Yeah, I'm sorry if the um, the search history was just more complete. If it's actually more just when you say that something is males only, that's what might help us easily jump. Yeah, but lawyering at the time was mostly a male profession anyway. It would be unusual for for. A Attorney. Yeah, I know, but, but keep in mind, just I'm just thinking of possibilities. Yes. Do they have any interesting leads of where we could start to investigate? Uh, um, well, okay, we can we can start with uh, known. Uh, Criminals with this. Oh, you right back. I, I need to do something real quick. Okay, no worries. Um, you can, there, there are three serious, dangerous men accused of crimes in this town, uh, which they have successfully defended. Um, and of course, they can't go into because of, of privacy concerns, they can't go into exactly what these crimes they have been accused of um, and they strongly suggest that you uh, carefully consider going down that road because uh, of what these men have been accused of. They've been accused of everything from uh, racketeering, uh, murder, extortion, breaking and entering, Robbing, burglary, uh, these are not uh, kind and gentlemen. And they are not going to appreciate people digging into their backgrounds. Everyone's so dead today. <laughs> Everyone's really quiet today. Well, um, I am uh, willing to wait around till nighttime and uh, visit the graveyard and the the meat ma the meat person factory. Okay. Uh, the two good sources for leads. Graveyards at and nighttime. How much has fun? Any ideas. Yes. Now that the barbarian is temporarily turned off, it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> Get him to go. Yeah, he's he's not the most brave barbarian I've ever met, but he seems to be a nice guy. So let's assume that the parties decide, well, let's check out this uh, bakery for reasons. And it's night nightfall now, and you notice that the uh, the bakery is in poor repair. 
Uh, the door is locked, but it is looks like um, it is has not been used so for some time. Uh, the windows, the glass is long gone, and it's now boarded up. And there is a cellar that goes into the basement. And the cellar doors. Right. Always things in the basement. Always things in the basement. It'd be great now to have a thief to check for traps. <laughs> That's why you have the barbarian. He's got a lot of hit points, he told you so. Not gonna complain about having a thief, uh, not having a thief in this game, because Thursday's game, uh, uh, literally the lack of a thief ha had costed us nearly our lives. So I will be content right now with the fact that, like, our barbarian at least knows if there's a trap. <laughs> barbarian, do your job. Your job is the, you are the pincushion for the uh, party. Take one from the team. Open up the doors. Never, don't worry about it, there. I have a spell for this. Uh, ultimate trap protection. Mumble, mumble. There, off you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's the thing. Barbarians are never bright. So, it works. Actually, I am bright, though. So You just don't believe in magic or know much about it. So, Barbarian, the party has, has looked over a set of cellar doors. And they have assured you that it is not trapped. I don't believe them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Is that what you're hearing? <laughs> hearing, the most, hearing talk of beef and talk and so many. I must video it being trapped. <laughs> so, so they are suggesting that you pull open on the doors or break them in. I'll try to open the door. You know, okay. Maybe yeah. And, and I assume the rest of the party will stand back while you do. No, I'm At gonna least force. I'm gonna, I'm gonna force them. I'm gonna force uh, Wesley's character to stand back. Be right <laughs> behind. Him. So you get a good for you. Okay. Um, you you notice that there are chains, and you have two choices. Try to. Uh, Break the lock on the chains, or just kick it in. I guess I could try to kick it in. Okay, give me a d6, please. Roll low. All right. Let's go. D6. Roll low, game. Yay, Dude. roll low. Dude, that's well done. You just shattered this door. Goodbye, door. Yeah. <laughs> It's a little noisy, but uh, you sort of look around. Don't see anybody popping their heads out. So you see steps going down. Okay. I would tell them that, that it looks clear. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I assume the barbarian is since you are standing in front of the steps, taking the lead going down. Yeah. Okay, you are definitely getting an odor coming from down below. It is mm. not. A, it is a very chemical order, odor. Like, does it smell like bad or aldehyde? Could be formaldehyde. Could be some sort of chemical. Okay. I guess I'll join the barbarian. Okay. Too. As as you come down, you notice that the depth there is definitely footprints in the dirt and dust. So someone has been down here, and they have been down here recently. And you come uh, basically the cellar is the foundation for the uh, bakery. Uh, it is wide open, and you see. Uh, more or less tables lined up uh, with what could be bodies covered with sheets. I'm, I'm going to go confirm that they're bodies by 
lifting under, uh, in the foot area, uh, what I assume would be the foot area. The body-like shapes. I don't want to open a, a, the top and get bit by uh, undead. That's okay. Too. Okay, you, you, you peek under the sheet, and you're a bit surprised. Because unlike dead bodies, where uh, limbs are swollen and blue, uh, because they don't have circulation. But these look very alive. Is it still not moving, though? Still not moving. Pull the sheet off. Okay. And, uh, investigate for Okay, me. a horrified sight you see. It looks like an older, an elderly man strapped down upon this table, tubes in his nose, tubes coming out of his veins, and looks like blood is being collected into uh, jars. For a pulse? He's alive, but not conscious. Oh shit! I, I should take the tubes, the tubes out, or is it gonna is is it gonna is he gonna bleed out? I don't think he would, cause like that's not how it works. Yeah, um, there are clamps on the tubes. If you released the clamps, he would probably bleed out. But it looks very much as someone is collecting blood. Possible, probably dealing with a vampire here, probably. Well, I'll, I'll check one of the other tables and see if we have the same situation going on. Same situation. Six men down there, all hooked up. Alright, well, um, this is one big open room, you said? Yes. I want to use my tracking abilities to see, um, uh, about how long ago the footsteps lead back out. Okay. Um, but looks like someone has very recently come down here to collect blood. It's footprints leading back up. Yeah, back up the stairs of the cellar. I think, and and the whole party might disagree with me. And if they do, if the DM would allow it, go back, and I would do this. Um, I, I think we should put the sheets back over the ones we pulled them off. And um, are the sheets do they hang over enough to um to conceal under the table? Uh, yes, they do under here and wait for them to come back. I'm gonna st I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna follow suit mainly so that way she ha if there is something that is not friendly we can she has some muscle. I'm gonna sweep the area with detection of magic and see if anything radiates magic. Okay. Uh, nothing is radiating magic. How close to death do these people look? Um, they're, they're not in great shape. They seem to be being fed intravenously. And, um, it's very, very hard. You know, their, their, their teeth are not in good shape. Uh, they're not able to move around. They have bed sores. That's your feet, probably. But they're being kept alive, so I guess we can yeah, wait. They, 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 look like, they look like they've been down here for some time. And the sheets are, are probably to guard against uh, dirt and dust and infection. So they're not going to die within the next 24 hours. They are not going to die within the next 24 hours. You guys think about my plan. Is there anywhere to hide? Yeah, under the sheets, under, under the tables. That's just freaky. It hangs over the table. It really is. It's some straight scary movie type shit. But best option. Well, if, kind of... if if someone is collected blood, you would probably reason that you can't give blood that often. So that uh, so a person is not visiting here every day. You know, you can only take so much amount of blood before the person has to uh, have to, has to replenish their supply. 
So they probably only collect at best once every two weeks. Wondered. Say again. She's not. She's not really doing a good job of possibly making herself innocent. Well, we don't know if she's she's involved in this at all. I know, but if anyone else sees this, they're gonna institute her because this was whole family shop. Alright, um... I think this is the missing lawyers right here. I think we found them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but we can't exactly get them out yet. <laughs> can, I, can I roll an intelligence check to see if, I, if the descriptions match any of the people in here? Sure. Yeah, um, you're unable to identify. But you don't know if that's just because you don't know what these people look like, or... I mean, you you try to, to bring them back to consciousness to talk to them. To pull the tube out. Can't talk to the tube down the throat. Yep. So you don't have a tube down. Wait, okay, you did say. Alright, yes. make sure. Um, they're being they're 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 being fed uh, intravenously, so the yeah, the tube down your throat. In that case, I guess I'll use cellular adjustment on one and see if I can give him enough hit points to get him conscious. Okay, yeah, and he, he he's immediately starting to choke on that in his uh, down his throat. Mm. I guess we'll pull it out. Okay. Yeah, you pull it, pull it out. out. Your and this old man just gasping is just like, "Kill me! Just kill me!" Oh, been... poor thing. No, don't kill him. Who brought you here? <laughs> she did. Who is she? Pardon me. She, she, she's a prostitute. We shall liberate you, I'm sure. Don't wish for death. Okay, this is becoming more succubus. Succubi is now even more now. Just saying. Are you one of the missing lawyers? Yes. Well, we found the lawyers. Let's get them out of here. We were we were supposed to get a reward for returning them, or finding out what well, happened to them. And we found them. But if we take out the tubes on their arms, they'll bleed out, though. I can go around and heal each one. I don't I don't know how much that will help with the. Uh... Well, if if we're not using logic, if we're just using game logic, then then yeah, you could probably pull it out and heal them, and the wound will close. Yeah, that's game logic. They, so gonna, they, they, would have to, they would have to take a system. They would have to what? Take a system shock. Yeah, but that's understandable. Yeah. Because you're well, we, could, we could leave and go get the town guard and come back or send somebody to go get the town guard and maybe yeah, a yeah. local cleric. He says, he says, no guard. No guards. Just Why? Kill, just kill me. Why do you want us to kill you so bad? Be because it's a merc it's more merciful than the what they will do. Why are they, they doing anything, anything to you? He, he, he said, you know, it, it's one of our clients that are that have set us up. Did they set you up? What did you do? You don't get set up for just... It, it's not what we do, it's what we know. Well, tell us what you know and we may assist you in your suicide. <laughs> okay, let me roll a... Jack. 
because he's in a weakened <clears throat> state. He says, go to my office and burn it. Go to your office, sure. We'll burn it when we're done. He says, no, you need to destroy all the files. Oh, oh, but surely that's not legal. Uh, he doesn't care. He's not going to survive long anyway. Something's not entirely right here. I'm assuming... What is your name, sir? My name is Jonathan. Surely if Please. we do such a thing, we'll be thrown in jail. No, no, you won't be. You won't yes. be. Just burn it. Just burn it. We, we made a deal. You need to burn it. Oh, okay. You've twisted my arm. <laughs> Kill me now. Oh, sure, we'll just kill you and burn down your office. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that sounds like something perfectly sane people would do. <laughs> yes! I'm yes. not, but I'm sane, and I don't, I don't think that's a very smart idea. He sort of closes his eyes and prepares for the stroke. <clears throat> uh, I don't... I don't know. I'll hand him my dagger and let him do it himself. Well, he's, he's kind of strapped in. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. I shall drag my finger across his throat. So he does. <laughs> he, he, he sort of wishes this. Is a, that, that tickles. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me! <laughs> It's better than the torments of hell. You made that kind of deal, huh? Yes. Oh, shit. So you're talking about, like, devils and stuff. I think we're, um... I'm figuring he's made a deal. They've made a deal with some nefarious power. Yes, you you need you need to destroy the teleporter that's in the that's in my office. You need to burn the office. Where does there's the a, teleporter there's, oh, go? There's a, there's a portal in the office. You need to destroy it by burning the office. To where Where's does the, the portal, portal go? go? Let me see. Let me give another day. 20. Does the portal go to hell? The hell? Yes, our personal hell is where it goes to. Destroy the portal! Oh no. Now we've got the portal and he won't tell us where it goes. Does that mean we have to step through it to find out where it goes before we destroy it? Uh, no, no, listen, you don't fuck with portals. Curiosity killed the cat, okay? Sleep back me up. Hey, curiosity is probably gonna kill us! That's why you have a barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll tie a rope around the barbarian's waist and we'll throw him through the portal. And then if, if something tugs on the rope, we'll pull him out again. Hopefully all his go. limbs... Hopefully, you know, yeah, hopefully, I'm hoping to attack one of you. <laughs> hopefully, what? all of his limbs will still be attached when he comes back. Yes, one of the classic D and D moves. <laughs> Throw the barbarian through the portal with. <laughs> it's called it's called portal fishing. Yes. AKA <laughs> AKA. AKA when I come back. <laughs> AKA noodling for devils. <laughs> I think it'll turn out. <laughs> like it. It. Anybody yeah, seen the movie The Mist? You. I think it'll turn out like that. We'll, we'll pull back, it'll just be a chunk. I'm gonna warn you. If I survive, I'm probably not gonna be the happiest. I'm gonna probably have to be holding the rope. And that's why I have a charm person. 
<laughs> but of course, if I survive that, I'm just gonna be even angrier. <laughs> so our our old man has exhausted all his energy and passed out. Oh shit! We've lost one. Uh, next. <laughs> <laughs> Medic! <laughs> Medic! <laughs> well, do we want to wake another one up, or do we want to go get the, the people and let them take these people into custody or whatever? Well, maybe the next one will tell us where, where the portal goes. The only thing is, why did they not... Okay, the only thing that was confusing me was... He said the gods would do something worse. <clears throat> and whatever. Which, my thing is up there... Her. Well, clearly they've been up to evil deeds. Yeah, but what's worse than more us being, of all your blood being drawn out, and more us in a new death state? <laughs> <laughs> You're not very creative. <laughs> I, I'm not creative. I'm just trying to see this. Yes. <laughs> just hang around a while. You'll figure out what's worse. <laughs> And what you do is, is you take a metal bowl and a rat and a candle. And you put the rat on the stomach and the bowl on top of the rat and then the candle on top of the bowl. That's, that's worse. There, there's a lot worse. So uh, well, I guess, I guess we'll try and waking up the next one. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're gonna spend a healing potion, or are you gonna wait? Oh no, are you out of PS PSPs? No, I got enough. It's like a killing! <laughs> yeah, he, 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 we wake up. Who the hell are you? <laughs> We're here to rescue you. Get me out of here! What's your name? Well, at least this one doesn't want to die. My, That's much better. My name's Alfred! Get me out of here! Do you know Batman? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not recently! Who the hell are you? <laughs> Do you... <laughs> He worked for Bruce Wayne! <laughs> <laughs> he he was like, oh great, and you're the one that's rescuing me. <laughs> what are you, are you one of the missing lawyers? Yes, I'm a lawyer. What the hell do I look like? A man on the table being person? milked for blood? <laughs> what? <laughs> he said, what do you mean of being milked for blood? Sure. Well, that's oh, what you look like. Well, you see these <laughs> tubes here, and that one po poking out of your arm there. You, you see... <laughs> no, I can't see. I'm strapped to a table. Who's milking me <laughs> for blood? That's what we're trying to figure out. <laughs> oh, perhaps, this perhaps we should free him. If we were to free you, sir, what would you do? <laughs> Run! <laughs> Run where? Aren't you naked? I, 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 I don't care. I've got tubes coming out of my mouth, out of my body, and someone's draining me for blood. I want out of here. I can assure you, sir, if you were to run, you would die. Please don't Why? run. I'll take my chances. <laughs> Brother being stressed at this table. <laughs> You're not here to rescue me, are you? Well, sort of, oh, we yes. <laughs> We're here to get information and rescue you. Come on. <laughs> we need to know where the portal goes. You know the portal? What portal? The teleporter. What? What? What are you talking about? Okay. I, I think okay. That the we He's playing the coy. I think we should let him run. No. Um, I think the first person we talked to was the main, main person where he let, kept that from everyone else. Or just kept it from him, for all we know. 
Or maybe this is just one of the lackeys who works there and he just got nabbed for really no reason. Possibly. With well, a name like Alfred, you know. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he's aligned with the devils and doesn't want us to know where the teleporter goes. Because this one's on the wrong side. You hear. Well, you know, Alfred's not going to give up the secret identity easily. Alfred, who the fuck brought you here, man? <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're gonna we're, so we're not rescuing. We're going to do, to interrogate. Is that correct? <laughs> I'm find so. For the time I'm being, of course. So. For the time uh, the, being. The the pretense of. Uh, Pretense of, uh, of, of rescue is now gone. <laughs> well, I, I don't think the group's attack. exactly lawful, is it? <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's struggling. Get away! Get away from me! Get out of here! Please! Help! 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 Do you really think anyone's going to help you? How long have you been down here and no one's helped you? How long have you ever been down here? Good question, we don't know. Um, I guess just cut him loose and let him go. See if he lives. Who knows? Maybe he dies, maybe he doesn't. Who brought him here? But he doesn't want to tell us. Well, we, could, we haven't asked who brought him here. We've just been asking questions about the portal. No, I, I, I have tried several times to ask, him who, ask who brought him here. I didn't hear you say that. Okay. So Alfred, yeah, before you before here. you <laughs> before you woke up here, uh, what's the last thing you remember? Um, uh, prostitutes. Oh man, more than one. <laughs> you got me. Where you met these prostitutes? We we met them at the brothel, and they. The yeah, we we was a uh, company. It was it was a company outing. <laughs> Don't tell me you got pegged. <laughs> I think no, my theory is becoming more and more correct. <laughs> it just, it's like, there's proof just pouring, starting to pour out now. It was a company outing and, uh, mistakes were made. <laughs> like going to a brothel. That was your first mistake. <laughs> Well, I will, I will not spend the, the PCPs to um, cure him of gonorrhea. <laughs> in Dungeons and Dragons, you never get laid in a city. Always out in in the in the wild. Always out in the wild. <laughs> I think we should let him go now. I think he's provided us with enough information. Um, that he what information? How much information as he knows? He doesn't know. He doesn't seem to know very much, and he seems mostly terrified. So we're gonna let him go. Terrified though, it's fun. <laughs> so we're gonna let him go or knock him back out. Um, maybe we should. <laughs> maybe we should free him, but keep him tied up for the time being. We wouldn't want in anyone uh, 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 bringing uh, the authorities here. Well, he's doing his best by screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Gag him. <laughs> you said for free? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you're one of those types. Good lord. I feel awful that I'm the first person to laugh at that. Like the only female in the group, and I instantly start laughing. Fantastic. <laughs> Not touching that one, moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll tear off a piece of cloth and stick it in his mouth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, yes. Let me do it. He's, he's going to pass out when you do that. He is, his, his heart's at it off. <laughs> <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, so what's next, oh, fellas? So what's up, man? Two down, four to go. <laughs> May the torture continue! <laughs> I got a plan. Alright. Um, I, I don't... I think we, we're supposed to return these people, uh, so, uh... Do that, but I think that, um, we should... Well, no, because if we, if, we, if, if we release them, then the person who's responsible for this will instantly know that they've been found, and that'll really cause a disturbance in our ability to find out who it is. I think that at least for... For hours, we should get get the fuck out of here, and one of the uh, the male characters should go uh, go get a whore and find out what happens. Ew. <laughs> I'm going for the barbarian. No. 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 Take one for the team, barbarian. <laughs> Remember all those hit points. <laughs> Do they have penicillin yet? <laughs> Cure disease? <laughs> you know what that mysterious 2d6 roll was for at the beginning? Um, so that's that's the best idea I got. Infiltrate the brothel. Or I could just go pretend to get a job. <laughs> that will be my next suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it doesn't necessarily- Wait, now that's sexist. It doesn't have to be a girl. Uh, a leather corset and a whip and you're ready to go. I'm not a feminist who gets triggered by shit like that. Yes, it does. No one's a male prostitute. Who's gonna pay for dick? Like- <laughs> No, you were right ask the gentleman around you. Exactly. <laughs> oh, th those are our plans. Those are our two options. I'm gonna go get a whore, or I go be a whore. Or you just send the barbarian for both. <laughs> or you know, I just throw. He's got I just constitution. Make, I just make, or I just make one of the other characters do yeah. it. <laughs> By throwing them in it, or just forcing them to do it. <laughs> oh, so you have the two men passed out, and you. So I assume put the sheet back over them. And you've got four unconscious. Do we want to put the tubes back in them so they'll live? Uh, don't we have a way to pull all the tubes out so that they don't die? Well, if you leave them down here and they're not fed, they will eventually die. If you pull the if you pull the tubes out and you don't bend them, they'll bleed out. Ah. Uh. We should put the tubes back in and make it seem like we weren't even here. <laughs> I, I don't want this this person to know that we found them out. Well, you, oh. you kind of broke the door. <laughs> Why don't we rescue them all and then um? Once they're safe, we could come back here and wait for the captors to come along, and then kill them all. I said we go visit the brothel. <laughs> okay, so if you want to visit it so much, why don't you go do it then? Go get it. <laughs> you want to do so I much, like you do it. Get horse. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. And why did all the lawyers from this one law firm go to the same brothel? That's so weird. It was a business outing. Go to the strip club back there. Those are stupid. Yeah, exactly. They have a high intelligence and a very low wisdom score. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> yes. 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 Part of their anatomy. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this one law firm only hires very, very horny men. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing, you guys? What are you doing with these people? And and because right now you got a mess. You got a broken door. All right. Okay, before we can go to the whorehouse. 
I can't clean up the mess. <laughs> As well, I made a door. I made a door explode. <laughs> so, so you can stay behind and explain it to the watch. No. <laughs> You know how well that went last time! <laughs> uh, we found a bunch of guys sleeping in here together. Uh, <laughs> we cleared them out. Gagged. They were gagged and... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> they had like tubes and stuff inside them. It was very kinky. Uh, we cleared them all out. Where's our reward? <laughs> Thanks, watch. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to have their portals enter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we gagged them. <laughs> he, he doesn't like people to enter his portal. He wants he doesn't want his portal in. <laughs> he prefers to have to be burned with candle wax or whatever. Uh, what? That's life in a seaport. <laughs> The next guy we wake up is gonna tell us he likes to be he likes his horse frozen half to death. <laughs> Guys, we gotta figure this out. I don't know. Well, you know one of these six, six one of the six of these bastards is a, a, a necrophiliac. That's a whole different bucket of worms. That I don't want to mess with. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna get out of the chain. Because I mean, that's where the zombies fit in here, you know. <laughs> uh, zombies would make the best whores. You wouldn't have to pay them. It's ingenious. <laughs> oh, oh. They never need sleep. Catch diseases. Yeah, I don't care where another watch, watch comes by. <laughs> that watch has better things to do. Guys, we gotta get out of here before the watch finds us. Yeah, probably a good idea. <laughs> Just dipping, leaving them here. Uh, I don't think we really have an option. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a couple options. Kill them. Nah. Take it with you. No. Leave them here. Okay. <laughs> Wake them up and leave them here. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Free them. Nah. <laughs> lawyers, I don't get like lawyers. <laughs> Doesn't that sound good, huh? Ah, uh, no, leaving them asleep may always sounds like a good idea. <coughs> <laughs> I'm chaotic neutral. <laughs> uh. I say my opinions of no care. <laughs> so, party looks at each other like, well, what do you want to do? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm so upset that if I wasn't a ranger and I had to be good, I'd just go around and start stabbing them. <laughs> <laughs> I could, but I have no reason to kill them. What's your alignment? Yeah. Are you chaotic? I'm chaotic neutral. You don't need a reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to be caught by the by the guard again, so that's my that's my reason not to attack the, them. So we can get the fuck out of here or else we're gonna get blamed for all the missing lawyers. Exactly why I wanted to get out now. We can't just. Two of them are gonna die now because we took the feeding tubes out. We gotta stick the oh, feeding wow. tubes back in. Oh wow! People die. 
Yeah, everyone dies eventually. They just die sooner than expected. Is the whole party okay with just... Like, taking these guys back? That's kind of part of our quest. The only fun we're taking them would make them think we did it. Or something. The guard, when we were returning them to the... to the lawyer's office. Or we could just let us see, but I don't want to let them go yet. Cause I don't want our cover to be blown to the point of like they, they everyone would know that it was us that found them. <clears throat> yeah. I think that we should replace the feeding tubes, leave, and and go to the whorehouse. You could always set the the bakery on fire, and oh well, if uh, <laughs> if they survive, great. If they don't, scare me out of that is yeah. chaotic, neutral, that is... to the point. Exactly. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> it's not, you know, directly murdering them. <laughs> it's giving them we a chance. We could also get in trouble for, for burning down the... <laughs> I really think we should replace the fading tubes and get the fuck out. I feel like we should just get out. <laughs> Any anybody else want to have a look? I'm okay with just getting out. I do want to look around the room. Okay, it, it, it's a, a cellars are really basic. It's a, a flagstone floor and a bunch of wooden benches here. With bodies strapped to it, you can you can always investigate up what's up above in the uh, in the shops, in the barbershop. Yeah, shop, yeah, the yeah. In, in, investigate the uh, the uh, the ba what's left of the bakery. Okay. Uh, gonna break the boards on a window, or are you gonna break down the door? Oh, I guess the cellar was gonna... on the outside? Yeah, the cellar, cellar has an exit from the outside. It's kind of like a storm shell, shelter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no entrance to the bakery from inside the cellar? No. Well, that's interesting. The bakery may have nothing to do with this. Yeah, po possibly. It's always a possibility. Mm. I think, should we? Uh, uh, I don't know. I really don't know what to do. Maybe because I don't entirely care, but... We roll for the watch. Nope, not interested. <laughs> watch is taking the afternoon off, evening off. We need to make up a decision, you guys. I guess we could just put the tube back in them and then leave. I say we leave the door open, leave them right where they are, and let's go to the brothel house. Eventually the guards will find them. And everything, it'll be suspicious. Go investigate if they happen to walk by. Either that or some local urchin's gonna wander in here and then go get the guards. Thinking they can find something to steal, then find this and be like, well, maybe I'll get a reward. Why don't we pay for some local urchin to hire one of the hookers so that the hookers in question bring the urchin here? And then we could kill whoever brought the urchin here. But, but the likelihood of us catching the, them bringing 
I I feel like this is like a, a recognizance mission type thing we're gonna have to do. Uh, one oh, yes. person is gonna have to go. Like we're gonna have to split up amongst these whores and and see what happens. We might all just have a good time, or someone <laughs> might go dis might disappear. If one of us disappears, then we know where they are. Sure enough. Days, okay. these two will die. If we if we close it back up. Well, kind of hard to close it back up when the door's gone. Uh, uh, say, isn't there uh, a first level spell that's really simple? It's for simple things like that, fixing doors. Um, if you mending, yes. mending. That's actually a cantrip. I, it's, I promise, a cleric. I can't think of the name of it. It's got some weird Man. ass name. Oh, it's definitely called Mending. Definitely. There's another one. It has an odd name. So that's not an option, unless anyone, someone has been. You stay here long enough for you to learn it. Or memorize it. I say we just sleep. Before the gods come. <laughs> Is everyone else safe? I think we should hide from the gods, but rescue these men. I don't like them being bound and gagged by tubes and things like that. If 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 anybody's in the party is good, I, we're going to have to free them. I think the ranger's good because he has but, to So the ranger I would think we would need to free them otherwise that would be a a very questionable alignment decision. Yes, I make this very questionable alignment decision, and the DM tells me that I have to change my alignment, and that makes me just a regular fighter. Mm -hmm. It's always a possibility, which I, um, but I'm, I object to the, the release of all of them, because we will not find out who did this if we, if we release all of them. Yeah. Well... You can, you can sort of put... Then let's leave them here and head to the brothel, because we know that's where all this occurred. You can put, you can put strings attached. If, if it's good alignment, you can release them, but put strings attached on it. That is acceptable. Release them and then told them, like, don't tell, you're not allowed to tell anyone. And, and... Yeah, you can, you can, you can strike a deal. A good idea. What does everyone else think? Sounds like a plan. We can. We can okay, what he said. The deal is that you don't, y'all don't say anything. You keep yourselves out of sight until we return from the brothel and deal with this problem. When we return, we expect to be handsomely paid. <laughs> so you're gonna wake him up. Try I... screaming. Let me kill them. Get a fucking alignment change for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jail. So early in your career. Well, I failed on one of them. 
So you're going to wake them up. Okay. Uh, they're awake. And, of course, they're choking on their tubes now. Oh, that's what I was rolling the healing skill for, was to get them awake and alive without... Yeah. yeah. We have to pull out the oh. tubes. Yeah, pull out the tubes. All right. And they start coughing and sputtering. <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? Who are you? Uh, we were hired by your law firm to uh, find you. You had been kidnapped. Where, who, who can, where are we? Uh, and the seller. And Obviously. You, you were kidnapped by bad guys. You know. <laughs> bad girls. Oh. Oh! We need your help finding oh. the bad guys. Okay? So we can kill them, oh, okay? Oh, you, oh, 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 oh. The bad guys that did this to you, we oh, we want to kill them. Does oh, that does that make we don't sense? Wanna, we do, oh, oh, this is bad. <laughs> um, bad. Um, yeah, this is bad. Um, uh, we can we just go home? No, you don't understand. We are stronger than the bad guys. You understand? We are stronger. Um, can we just go home and pretend this didn't happen? No, but stronger. We are stronger than the bad guys. Okay? Okay. Okay, we are, we are stronger. If you're here to rescue us? Yes. Possibly. <laughs> possibly. We come to possibly rescue you. You're not going to be a douchebag, are you? Um, we're lawyers? <laughs> so yes, you're a douchebag. <laughs> then you're used to keeping secrets, correct? Yes. Yes, we're very used to keeping secrets. We're quiet confidentiality. You will keep this quiet. You will stay out of sight. You will not tell anyone where you've been or what you've done oh, until yes. after we've dealt with this. Um, then, we'll show, then we're going to come for our reward for dealing with your problem. Anyone other than your family that you're back. I, we don't want the people who did this to know that we found them out. Oh, uh, okay. Um, can we, uh, as, as part of this, can we borrow a, uh, a, a knife or a dagger? What uh, did he say? I will give him a dagger. Okay. I will step all the way back across the room, talk, put my dagger on the floor, and kick it to him. <laughs> Sleep spell ready. And, and they said, Do you, are you going to let us go? We're kind of uh, tied up on these tables. I mean, that's what the ranger wants. So, what I want is to get my alignment. I want to just kill them all, go to the whorehouse, kill all the whores. Boom, well, job done. Well, Murder here, hobo here. ranger. Perfect. Yes. Here's the ethical <laughs> dilemma for the ranger. It's okay. Now you can't paladin. Yeah. The, the, it is perfectly acceptable for good people to kill bad people in the bad Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> yeah. Are lawyers good people or bad people? <laughs> <laughs> that, see, that's up to debate because they're not morally bad people. Some of them just gotta make a fucking living. I would say defense. I want to be a lawyer until I found out it takes twelve years of schooling. You know the guy I know. So, uh, fuck that. I would so say. Am I a bad person? I would say counsel well, is probably the not good. Is moral bankruptcy considered evil? Uh, counsel is probably not morally good. <laughs> Is, is defending bad people and going to our house, does that make you good or bad? Counsel is probably not good. Probably not good. It makes you neutral. So, uh, so we, can, we need to have a slight debate on the, the ethics of the legal profession as it relates to Barristers. <laughs> they do defend the innocent as well. <laughs> yes, they do. But they, they also charge for it. And the doctor heals and he charges for it too. That is correct. <laughs> and win or lose, the, 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 the attorney gets their money. 
the difference is the doctor has the sense to give himself a shot of penicillin before he goes to the whole house. <laughs> yeah, they, they sort of forgot about that part. Oh. Um, what was it? Damn it, Bob, shut up! Is Bob saying things again? I think they were, they were talking to the, the first person that you woke up. Uh, Hobbs was telling us he wanted to kill himself. Is there some reason why he wants to do that? They looked at each other and said, um, no reason. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm something from us. I recommend telling him if you want to leave. Um, Cute observation. If we let you go, are you going to run to the portal and disappear? Portal? <laughs> What portal? I kill all of you. <laughs> 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 we're 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 attorneys. Why wouldn't we have a portal? Why wouldn't you have a portal? <laughs> Why wouldn't anyone have a portal? Um, I I I have no idea. I mean, doesn't everyone have a portal? I don't have one because I'm poor. <laughs> they're, they're kind of looking nervously at each other. <laughs> A portal? <laughs> yeah, this is one of those looks at you and says, <laughs> one of those at you and says, you know, the, the false imprisonment is a crime. You know, death is very painful. <laughs> Especially if I did choose to do it very slowly. <laughs> uh, I've heard bleeding out isn't nice. We'll, we'll take those clamps off. <laughs> they, they, they seem to want to instruct you in the law. <laughs> I, I will instruct you in the use of a blade. <laughs> That you you have a legal obligation to set them free. Knows that we found you here. For for all that you know, we could kill you, leave you right here, and then blame it on whoever the fuck brought you here. <laughs> well, so, yeah. all blame it on Nazis. <laughs> they said you wouldn't do that. I would. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. We will play the game. We will leave you here to scream and bleed out. <laughs> um, uh, they said, can we settle this with uh, a few coins? No. <laughs> I don't like my. I don't like money. I don't exactly like having money. Hold so on. Well, as soon as they say that, I, I'm gonna. A spit at the direction of the one that's speaking. And we don't want your dirty money. What do you mean? Everyone wants money. What do we do this for? And other reasons. Speak for yourself, Ranger. I want money. <laughs> you take his dirty money then. I will. And I'll take yours too if you don't want it. <laughs> I'd like some of that dirty money. <laughs> I will fight you. I will fight you. And I will fight too. And I will fight you too. I mean, so, as, as long as before, as long as we're washing this money. So a a a purse of a hundred gold and everyone forget about what's happened. They want us to let them go. Yeah. We're gold trying to buy. Let them go. Yes. Yeah. Well, you would expect lawyers to do that. Um, hell, we bought our way out of a, a, a fight not too long ago. Yeah, they, 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 are, they are willing to, you know, pay for you to uh, check your moral compass. <laughs> what moral compass? I don't have one. I don't have a moral compass. Forget what you've seen, and uh, and everybody goes their separate ways. Uh, 
no, just tell us the information on the portal and we'll let you go. They, they look at each other like, damn it, Bob! Shut up! There is no portal. There is a portal! It's too late. It's too late. We'll just leave you here and go find the portal ourselves. 120 gold. Don't care, we're gonna go find the portal now. Damn it, Bob, you should never drink when you're out with the horse. Up to 140 gold. Nope. He said, "You, you are, you are, you know, walking into legal jeopardy. Do you understand that? This is imprisonment. This is false imprisonment and assault. And how do we know that you didn't bring us here? Well, one, I'm not a female, and two, I don't work at a brothel. Yes, and I don't think they carried us here." Someone else carried us. You. No, I one. I don't even know you people. And if I had to carry a lawyer, I'd probably carry them to to the head of my axe. <laughs> so they're getting indignant now that you've not taken. Well, what? I don't want their dirty money. <laughs> yeah, what is this? Money. Thief! What? It was a shut up. So there seems to be very a difference of opinion here. <laughs> One was like, what's going on? What the hell's going on here? So there is, in fact, a portal. They just don't want us to know about said portal. I guess we could just leave them here and just go get the portal and then just do what we need to do with the portal. What's the name of the guy who's... Who told us about the portal in the first place? Hobbs? Yeah. I'm gonna go up to Hobbs. And, uh, um, I I'm gonna have to roll a check for this. I, I don't know if, um, charisma and seduction would be separate, but obviously he, um, he don't be with the flesh. So I'm gonna try to be persuasive and get some information out of him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and, uh,. Meanwhile, while she's distracting them, I'm going to pull the Hobbs one aside, and uh, um, I'm going to whisper to him, hey, man, you better tell us what the down low is, or we're going to let you leave with these guys, and you know they're going to fuck you up. <laughs> oh, he, he says something. Uh, what, what languages do you guys know? I know Dwarvis in common. Okay. Um, I know... Let me... Well, I would probably know a few of us, but those are two right now. I don't, I don't know. I don't have that anywhere on my character sheet. Okay. Uh, he it, it is an unknown but really nasty sounding language, and he tries to bite you. I'm casting the sleep spell. Okay. Then he's out. On all of them. Okay. They're out. Thing. I'm over here trying to get information to seduce this guy, and he just goes to sleep. Yep. <laughs> he attacked you! He's asleep. All you have to do is slap him a few times, and he'll wake up. <laughs> it works that way for magical sleep. It does. It does. It does. <laughs> I, I, I feel like they're not going to be very forthcoming. That that seems to be the evidence so far. I probably also, knowing, of course, since I probably wandered around, I probably have at least three to more. I probably at least know what, no, never mind. I was thinking, of, like, I knew the main basic ones. Like, I knew my clan, which is Dwarvis, and, of course, Carmen, that are, like, I know Vers that I know Elvish, and said everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, they're all asleep. Let's get the fuck yeah. out of here. There. We go. See if the watch is around. Nope. Fairly watch. cautious with our exiting. Yep. Why? Watch has not been alerted. <laughs> you want to get out of here?
Okay, let's Obligation get out of here. Obligation against to leave them alive. Oh, is it almost time for the fifth edition game? I want to wake up the. Do, do you want to wake up the Hobbs character and see if he'll talk now that the others are asleep? Yeah, yeah. he seems to. He seems to be the one that has the most information and was willing yeah. to share it. Yeah, he's he's easily the most corruptible in the way. <laughs> Which means he's the most, uh, the most that I most want to kill. <laughs> Let, let's wake him up and and tell him, okay, the others are asleep. Um, start spilling. He says, "Kill me, kill me. They're going to do worse to me. Kill me. I'm going to now do worse to you. You don't to start talking. What do you give want to know? What do you give want to know? Everything. everything. Tell us everything. Start from the beginning. Well." Uh, as 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 you know, we're we're lawyers, and we sort of made a deal. With who or what? Um. Don't speak its name. Okay. Um. Okay, we made a deal with a stranger. And Where was the stranger from? Uh, not around mm. here. The outside? <laughs> An outsider, yeah. if you will? Ah. Yes. Yes, of course, of course. And we, uh, drew contracts in blood. <laughs> I said demons. And there were, well, rituals. And, uh, um, uh, we sort of went on retainer for uh, protecting uh, people that may have been associated with this individual. That in, did that include Miss Lovelet or her family? Uh, yes. So you sold your soul to Satan. Good job. <laughs> We're lawyers. <laughs> they're already they're already going to hell. It's, yeah, it's, it's chicken and the egg. <laughs> did we sell ourselves first, or do we make this? <laughs> hey Ranger. <laughs> hey Ranger. Stop. You you now have your reason. Um, they're now definitely evil. <laughs> The information well, you can give us about? They, uh, they, uh, they have more or less said that they at least in business partnership um, with some entity that has, um, well, dealings with the dark world. Well, geez, uh, does the party think that we can get any more information out of this guy? Uh, Where does the portal yeah. lead? Well, they're not sure because he says the stranger came out of the portal. He's, he, you know, he's a uh, reasonable he, he, he pays very well. What does a portal look like? It looks like a door. Like what decoration does it have on it? Uh, well, whatever makes it work. <sighs> They're not making this simple. They, they, you know, he, he shows up, he pays his bills, he... We update him on the cases, he goes away. Portal, I don't, I don't like that, but we're gonna have to. We, got, we gotta cut the head off the snake, and that's obviously the head of the snake in this scenario. I think you're right. I suspected from the beginning we'd have to go through the portal. Oh, oh dear. This isn't going to be fun at all. I can kill him now, party. I, I look around for yeah. approval. 
Well, he's and... not as boss, but it's so to the devil. If you were gonna kill him, I was. I mean, no, I don't no, care no. either he way. If you do or not, no, that's what's to kill you. It's, it's, it's your decision. Right, you idiot. If if your moral compass as a ranger brings you to kill this man, I don't give a shit either way. <laughs> no, he says, wait a minute. You're supposed to use the rituals. You're what wait, ritual? Wait, you're not one of us, are you? Damn it! No. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not brutally. Shit! <laughs> He's just swearing. <laughs> he, he, thought, he thought you were one of us. Damn it! No! Well, we're all people! Damn it! Uh, Thanks okay. for the information, okay. though! Okay, okay. Look, we, he, he will take you there. You will introduce this to the gentleman, and I'm sure you'll get a reward. Nah, because no one gives. He's gonna try to backstab us every opportunity he gets. No, no, no. He's an old man. He wouldn't do anything of the sort. It's just a. You're the lawyer. You're the exact opposite of law. Of loyal. I, yeah, we're, we're out. It's an honest profession. Well, it's a, it's just a business relationship. Ranger, you will gladly, you will gladly make it. Ranger, you're I'm fitting sure on this situation. I'm sure you will be very well paid. Now, Ranger, uh, you're fitting. I'm gonna go like full, full mental role play here, and what <laughs> I, as a ranger in medieval times, as a neutral good person, would do. Uh, let's see. Option: If you are a paladin, you burn him at the stake. <laughs> if, if I were a paladin, I definitely give him a chance here because I would feel like maybe he's <coughs> working towards some kind of redemption. But <laughs> Ranger doesn't trust in much, but myself, uh, my bow, and and my knowledge of the wilds, I, I'm very suspicious of of his true intentions. I don't trust him. I wish he could do a sense motive check. He says, "Look, I'm an old man. I can't." Hurt you. We could always just charm first in him and force him to take us. Ever met a mage that looks like they could hurt you? Frail old men, and then all of a sudden you got a fireball in your face. Exactly! He says I'm a lawyer, I don't know anything about that. Just because well, never mind. Just <laughs> feel like <laughs> we have him lead us there that like I, I will keep a dagger in his back at all times if we decide to let him lead us there not literally in his back but you know what I mean I'm gonna leave it up to the party that um, I'll, I'll gladly he's, kill him here or then he's, he, he says look this person can pro provide you with pleasure beyond your wildest dreams don't care about that Oh, what do you care about, for God's sake? You live in a frickin' hut. Well, I care about the glory of battle. <laughs> he laughs. <laughs> Good, you can die young. Don't be an old man like me. You never have to grow old. My ass is chop his head off is increasing. <laughs> he says, that's the beauty of it. You can be around forever. Enjoy the pleasures of the world. Why would I want to be forever if I can't fight who I stronger and stronger opponents? And no what? chance of death. Oh, see, that's the beauty of it. You know that feeling you get when you win? You get that feeling all the time. It won't be worth it if I don't feel like I have to try. Don't take... All right. <laughs> Alright, Ranger, I'm with you now. We should kill him. <laughs> hey! I'm definitely gonna slit his throat. We, can, we don't need him. We can figure this out without him. Uh, that's, that's a really bad idea, considering the last time that we had an old man that we thought about killing, and then we decided not to, and he really paid off. Um, I... So it's goodbye, old man? 
around uh, for for agreement. <laughs> Marion. <laughs> All right. Well, I do have an idea. I can hit them with a sonic blast, and it might not kill them, but leave them brainless. Like you said, you can start everything on fire, and oh well. <laughs> see what they say and how they try to escape. Well, they're they're all asleep except for that bozo. So it would be a, a, a mindless a, attack on a defenseless person. I could probably leave them severely Evil. fucked up. Evil. We we pretty much decided that the the alignment of, of lawyers is true. Chaotic <laughs> evil. Um, I don't know so far as chaotic. Chaotic evil is straight up like walking down the street and stabs a child for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Lawyers will be lawful, but they can be evil. Lawful <laughs> evil. <laughs> yeah, chaotic <laughs> evils like rapists and pedophiles and stuff like that. Yeah, like they burn down the real scum. Yeah. Re yeah. Random attacks. Yep. For no reason. <laughs> I'm chaotic neutral. I attack people sometimes, okay, no, but chaotic neutral does things like uh, you you heard that the headmistress of this particular orphanage is is a werewolf, so you burn the whole orphanage down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I forced I forced civil mercury on the drinks to kill the werewolf. <laughs> the werewolf died. All right, so so. So all messes don't listen. Killing? So all messes listen. I'm on retainer. For this person, I'm sure, I'm sure we can work out a deal. I'm positive we can work something out. Don't do. I'm anything. not gonna make a deal for devil. Don't do anything hasty. This is all gonna work out. You just gotta untie me, and I'll take you back to the office, and it's all gonna work out. Is that how he's? Yeah, oh, that time he was always. Oh, okay. He's speaking with that, like, calming, like, the tone of desperation. He's, he's very calm at this point. He says, yo, what do you want? Come on, give me something here. Something's you, up. You've got to have some sort of motivation here. It just not, can't be, can't be just random. I kind of want this guy dead now. How about <laughs> you, Ranger? <laughs> I've wanted him dead since he opened his mouth. Okay, well, why don't why don't we do this? I my my problem here, and and this is what my character is beginning to think, that um if we go back to his office, we try to enter this portal, uh by ourselves, there there are some higher risks there. That if we go back with him, he calls forth his companion uh, through the portal, and and then. I, I don't know where we'd go from there. Actually. We go back to the office, you know, <laughs> portal opens up, Satan comes out, boom, we're dead. <laughs> I don't think Satan's gonna come out. Uh, our DM that, that this is not a, a fruitless quest. That this isn't just so, like... So we're gonna uh, kill these guys either way, right? Okay, our, our Hobbs is starting to mumble something in this language. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna hit them all with Sonic Blast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ego whip that shit. It's a really, 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 really bad idea. <laughs> yeah, ADA is temporary insanity. <laughs> Wesley, you didn't think that through. You didn't you, you didn't think that through. We no one planned for it. You just Sonic Blasted all of us. <laughs> I, no, them. No. Can't. Speak specify it, it, it specifically when you were when you he gave he told you you could have psionic abilities he said to make sure that none of the party members were in front of you when it happened of you, course which you wouldn't be i would step in front of you at all six of them when we're all standing around hobbs's table <laughs> i'm just trying to be aren't fair. you playing devil's advocate today <laughs> well, <Damn. laughs> well for, for the sake of argument, here's what's going to happen. You hear footsteps coming down the stairs behind you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> and he's, and he's, well, if he's casting a spell, I guess we got to roll for initiative anyway. Yeah. And a very well-dressed man. 
Girls go crazy for sharp dressed men. Yeah. Sharp dressed man, dark hair, dark features, red shirt, red tie. Horns, goatee, you know, <laughs> red skin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> A little red rod. <laughs> yes. A cape. Some maybe. town that says, oh my. Forked this, tongue, pointy oh tail. Oh my, this is messy. Hooves. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> Who is he speaking to when he says what he do we have seems, here? He seems to be the, the party in general. He, he seems to be very, very calm. 20's not working. Um, it's not letting me do any yeah, die rolling. It's not letting me either. So we'll just talk it through. He does, he does not seem to have a weapon. He does not seem aggressive. Welcome to the house where magic lives. Please teach me, please. I, it's saying me roll. Okay, alright. I, but, what's not me, so I don't know what to tell you. So, he, uh, he says, um, Perhaps this should all go away. Are we agreed? Who are you? He says, I am a agent for a particularly wealthy and powerful benefactor. I am uh, authorized by him and his attorneys do business in his name. So he says, I'm here to collect these gentlemen. Uh, and sort of, sort of work out this problem. This is not a problem, is it? A problem? You don't call this a problem? He says, no, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a problem. Uh, the, the, the Why is this happening to them? Pardon me? Why was this happening to them? Why were they tied up like this? Well, I, uh, they, they sort of entered into an agreement. They did not hold up their part of the bargain. And so uh, we had to have a little chat. <laughs> and you know, all things are forgivable under the right circumstances. But um, as you know, um, a deal is a deal. Mm. So he'll just collect them if you don't mind. What if we do mind? Yeah, he says, do, you, do they owe you money? What's your relationship to them? I need to get to the bottom of why they're here and, and something about a portal they have. Maybe we shouldn't be telling you this much, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm betting he came from a portal. Evan Charisma. Uh, yeah. That, that Five charisma. Did, you, did you say seven charisma? <laughs> yeah, that, that little charisma is gonna bite you the. Uh, oh, yeah. Seven uh, charisma. He says it's a, it, it's a very simple value proposition. He says he doesn't mind if you want to kill them, go right ahead. But if you don't, he's going to. A deal's a deal. So either way, he's gonna die. Tells me that we... Or that he's, we or he's lying to you, wasn't it? <laughs> he said, do you... If you have a, a weak stomach, you may not want to watch the first one go. I, I feel like... 
he's making me think that we need this 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 old guy to actually do anything because we're about to just let him have these people go on about our day and I, I I feel like something something about that bothers me oh what's he's leaving <clears throat> okay well we're gonna we're gonna wrap up here in a second give give the party uh, a chance to think this one over what do you guys think I think I'm we getting should... the fuck out of here. I think we should uh, just kill them all so that you can stay a ranger. But they're evil c characters, so I... my alignment will be okay. <laughs> I'm not. Well, you're in a double. You're in a double entrantra now because if you kill them, <laughs> you're killing them in the at the <laughs> vice of an evil de of an evil creature. So that's an act of evil. If you don't kill them, then it's an act of evil. You've kind of got yourself into a corner now. There's a, there's so they didn't get me, get me into this corner. Kill them all and let the well, ranger go. There's two them people out. I can fight. I can even fight the old yeah. people, or I can fight the new person. Well, here's the thing if you're a good person, obviously you're an adventurer. Obviously, you go down into dungeons and kill things. So you're yeah. not you're not opposed to killing. It is is simply a matter of is it in society's best interest that these people be alive or dead? If you conclude it is the, that it's in society's best interest that they should be dead, you can walk out of there and let him do it, or you can do it yourself. I mean, I personally don't care. I'm just uh. I'm voting for the Rangers side. <laughs> so do we want to kill them or not? We need to make up our minds. We've been talking about this for an hour and a half now. Are we going to kill them or not? Just leave. Let's, he can do as he wishes with them. He's got, and he had an agreement with them. They didn't keep up their end of the agreement. Is this guy too powerful for us to kill? I mean... You have... We're no. supposed to be wrapping up right now, so obviously we're not supposed to fight this guy. Mm. Oh, we can, oh we're supposed to, and we'll just do it next week. We can just Me hold it. Meta. <laughs> yeah, I think we can, uh, we, can, we can just put on hold the next week, and you think it over for a week. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, probably a good idea. Did, did, we, oh, earn, we, will. did we earn XP? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, there was not a uh, not a lot of investigation going on. Well, that's why I wanted to kill him is to get at least some XP. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, so we will chat about this our our current moral dilemma, um, and we will pick up where we are uh, next week. Okay. Thanks, guys. Great, great session. Yeah, good yeah. game. Thanks. All right. I'm glad the one. two two new guys showed up too. Are you gonna? There you go. Yep. Gonna let invite them in. Or... Yeah, let me bring them on and see what we need to do. Okay. Okay. I don't know if um Narl, uh submitted uh an application yet, but I do know that um uh, I posted right Alex above did... Samuel. Yeah, okay. I posted right above okay. Alex. Okay, okay, let me go in. Let me go into roll twenty. Yeah, you should be able to just invite him with the button that way. Yeah. Okay, cool. See you guys right. next week. Right. Thanks for the game, Fritz. Thank you. And for the viewers, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check out our PayPal and Patreon, and see you next week. Bye-bye.